you know, it's kind of like what we thought. You know, the dynamic player that, you know, that, you know, that first ball gets hit to him there and turns a sweet double play and then gets another chance to do it. And, you know, then even late in the game, he just stops a for sure double down the line. You know, just even getting a chance to knock down that ball is is huge. And then, you know, we see what he does offensively. It's it's impressive, man. It's, it's fun to watch. He's, he's electric. You know, he's excited to be here. He's having fun. So he's definitely making a big impact so far. Whose idea was it for him for, to use your bat on that second home? What's that? Whose idea was it for him to use that? Oh, your bat? Hey, that was all him. That was all him. He kind of was holding it, kind of taking some practice swings, and kind of looked at me and said, hey, you mind? I said, no, go for it. Just make sure you use it. And he definitely did. So I was, I think I get half a half a homer <laughs> for that one or something. <laughs> 39 and a half, then. 39 and a half, I'll take it. Look at the early Chuck Wheeler, how key was that for this team tonight to get that kind of jump and get things started so early? That's, that's big time. Like, like I, I said earlier, he's one of the best pitchers in the game. You know, he's been so dominant, you know, year after year. It's been impressive to watch. So a guy like that, you got to try to get get him early or else he's going to be, you know, out there for 110 pitches all the way into the eighth or the ninth. So, you know, we took some good swings early. We were able to give Louie a, a nice little lead, help him go out there and, and do his thing. And, um they were able to take care of business. For you, another multi home run game. I think you're 37th now, if I'm not mistaken. But when you have this kind of a start like this and 99 RBI, which is, what kind of a groove are you in right now? We're trying to get there. You know, I still struck out, I think, three times tonight. So uh, we got some we got some work to do. But, you know, luckily those times I struck out, guys behind me picked us picked us up. Like, Wellesley there in the fifth having that big, um, big at-bat to kind of put the game away. There's only three games, but... G's back, you have Jazz here, emotional wins in the first game. Does it almost feel like this, with what's happened the last three games, like this six weeks of struggles, it feels like it's behind you now? This team's been the same. Like, I think a lot of that stuff's been from the outside. Like, you guys keep asking us all these same questions day after day, but the guys in this room have never faltered. Like, you can ask us, how's it, how, how's it feel? You know, you worry, this and that, but, you know, this, th- this team stayed true. You know, it's we've been hit on the chin a couple times this year, but you know this this team didn't get knocked down, so you know we're we're locked and loaded, ready to go. I meant that this this is your first three game winning three since the middle of June, though, so it's where you're actually getting some wins too. Yeah, we're we're happy about that. Hopefully, for some more coming. With the trade deadline coming tomorrow, what are your what are your thoughts? Are you hoping something else happens? Are you at all curious what you guys do? The other teams are making moves, so hopefully we start making moves too. We'll see.